What's up, crypto heads? John Fro here from Crypto Dreams, where anything is possible. This is the place to be to learn about NFTs. Welcome back. Happy to have you here once again. Today, we are looking at Atomic Hub and how to navigate it. When you're first getting involved, in the wax ecosystem there's a lot to learn and it can be a bit overwhelming it is a vast universe of nfts and the pathway to these nfts is atomic hub this episode is going to tell you what you need to know where you need to go and how to do it if you are new to the Wax blockchain, I recommend watching this video right here. It is an extensive overview of the Wax Cloud Wallet. It gives you all the information you need to know on how to navigate that. Between this episode and that one, you are gonna have the tool set you need to get started. Wax P has been on an absolute rampage over the last month. It has more than doubled in price people are becoming more and more aware about how amazing the wax blockchain actually is before we get started please subscribe like and hit that notification button it helps my channel out greatly all right are you ready ha, let's go all right this is atomic hub this is where it all goes down this is where you're gonna find NFTs on the Wax blockchain. Anything from card collections, comics, to game items, tools, characters. This is where it all goes down. So you will link your Wax wallet to Atomic Hub. And if you got Wax in your wallet, you are good to go. You can start buying yourself some nfts so up here at the top we have explorer you can search by name you can search by whitelist or not whitelist you can search all you can search assets templates collections schemas you can even search accounts For example, this is my account. So you can click on that. It takes you right to my account. You could see all of the NFTs I'm holding in my wallet. Next, we have market up top. This is where I spend my days, many hours, many days. I'm in here exploring, browsing, looking for the next project watching nfts and checking prices so we're going to go ahead and click on click on galactica this is a really cool project so this is going to take you only to the galactica collection you can search by name here and you can also search by newest oldest highest price lowest price highest mint lowest mint I generally only use price, but at times I use mint and other times I use newest when a, a pack is just dropped and people are throwing stuff up really fast sometimes for cheap prices. So I'll refresh and try and try and grab those. But generally I only use lowest trying to find the best deal. If we jump over here, we can search packs. That's just gonna show packs and it's gonna show the lowest price on packs. So that's the lowest price. Boom, if you wanna get it, you hit buy. Buy it for that amount of wax and you got yourself a Galactica small pack. You can grab cards. So by clicking on the cards tab, then you could take it further right here and look up rarity. These cards are just beautiful, by the way. This project is really cool. 
I am involved and love it. So you can also filter through a little more down here with price, mint numbers. Also a very important tab is sale history. You can see what is selling. So these are all the last sales. Very useful tool. You want to see if they have any volume going with sales. So that is how you will do that. Very valuable tool. Plus you can also see what things are selling for price wise, you know, if you have a specific card you're looking for. And if you do click on a card and you scroll down, another very useful tool is you can see here what the price has done and what the NFT is doing on a graph and see if it's a good time to buy, if it's a good time to sell. We can check all. So right now would be a decent time to buy this card because it used to be all the way up here at 56 cents. Now it's lost half its value and it's at 28 cents. So these are very useful tools, very important. And then if we jump over here, this is my account. You can check your own personal inventory. So if we look here, we have all these tabs. You can search by typing in a name of an NFT. If you know what you're looking for exactly, you can search by collection. You can search by mint. You can search by rarity. So I only want to search my uncommon ultra comics NFTs. So these are what I'm holding. You can search your listings. These are all of the NFTs I currently have listed. I hope all of these sell right now. That would be sweet. Um, you can search collection of what NFT or even by name. Auctions. Sold. These are the NFTs that I have sold recently so you can look through all those sometimes if you got a lot listed you might be like well what sold that's where you'll want to go and you can see okay that's what sold this shows you what was just purchased got some void elemental nfts and just purchased a stone axe for farmers world then i could search my sets So this will show you if you have completed sets, really cool feature. So I have this set completed, this set I do not, and it has these black and white, so it's showing that I need them. And if I want to purchase, I can hit market. It's going to take me right to where that NFT is on Atomic Hub. So really cool, really cool feature. can also put stuff on your watch list and we got friends so lots of navigating tools for you to use atomic hub is a really great marketplace and easy to get lost in well that's it that's all i got thank you so much for watching and listening i hope this video was informative and gave you some great information to help you along on your journey into the vast world of NFTs. If you have a comment, please leave it below and I will answer you back. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. It is much appreciated. Until next time, I wish you health and wealth. Peace. Crypto.